Good afternoon, I'm meteorologist Andrew Kozak. Today is the next weather alert day as we continue to track developing showers and storms, some of which are already now severe. We don't have any severe weather across Philadelphia or Jersey for that matter, but just to the north and the west, we're already looking at some severe thunderstorms right now. A couple of warnings to talk about as well. So let me expand that view out just a little bit more. You can see between Lancaster and Allentown, we have plenty of rumbles of thunder moving through, including some heavy rain right now and also a couple of severe thunderstorms that are in giving us a chance for some half dollar or half a dollar sized hail. We're also looking at areas just south of Schuylkill Haven and then over toward uh, Lebanon. This area here is giving us some very, very heavy rain, and this is where we have that severe thunderstorm warning right now for Berks County, Lehigh County until 215. This will continue to move very slowly to the north and the east. There's Allentown right now, which is kind of in between, and we'll have to see if this continues to move that direction and will give us that chance to get most of us in on some heavier rain and some more severe weather a little bit closer to the Allentown town area here within the next 45 to minutes to an hour. In the meantime, let's pull back out because a lot of us are not only looking at this, but also a severe thunderstorm watch, and this does include the Philadelphia area until 9 p.m. tonight. These storms are going to get going into this afternoon, encounter some really, really soupy air, and all of the ingredients are here for us to get a line of storms that will move through all because of this system back out the west as we head into the afternoon. So. We are in under an enhanced risk of hail, wind and flash flooding. The timing on this will be between 6 and 8, really over toward 10 o'clock as we head toward Philadelphia, between 6 and 10, 8 o'clock approaching the metro and then 10 o'clock just to our east Jersey Shore between 8 and midnight. We will have two full team coverage coming up today at 4, 5 and 6 and I'll have another fresh update for you coming up here in one hour. Good afternoon, I'm meteorologist Andrew Kozak along with meteorologist Grant Gilmore. We are cutting in today to give, let you know that we now have a tornado warning. This is going to be for Berks and Lehigh County until 245. I want to get in a little bit closer right now because what we're seeing on this is a very pronounced signature of not only very heavy rain, but gusty winds and the possibility for a tornado. So I'm going to move out of the way to kind of show you this right now. I want to put this into play for you and show you where this is going now, moving very slowly. There's so much lightning with this and most likely if there is a tornado with this, we're also seeing the possibility that it could be rain wrapped here since there's so much rain, so much lightning. So what I want to do is get in a little bit closer now, I'll bring you up to the current speed and show you exactly what's happening across this area here. Again, if you're in areas like Greenwich, uh, this is where we're going to be looking at the possibility right now of a tornado. What we're seeing is pronounced rotation right by Leonardsville, and this right now is going to be moving very slowly. If I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of circle the area where we most likely have rotation, see that notch right here? Here. So if you're in Leonardsville right now, this is where you need to be your shelters. If you don't have a basement, it would be very advisable to get into an interior portion of your house, a bathroom or a closet, preferably the lowest level in your house with no windows or any exposure to outside. You want to get down and make sure you crouch and most importantly, protect your head. So that's what we're seeing here right here just across Leonardsville right now. This is where we're going to be looking at the best chance of a tornado. Let me go ahead and put the velocity on here. This is the part of the storm. Uh, that is going to show us uh, the wind and as I go ahead and change the radar over. That's going to give us an opportunity uh, to get in on a little bit of a better uh, look here on where we're seeing uh, the, the potential tornado. And again, that's going to be right there across uh, Leonardsville right now. So let's go ahead and expand this a little bit further out and then move in a little bit further out from this again. And you can see that's what we're seeing here is this thunderstorm putting this into uh, uh, put it into rotation. And you can kind of see where this is moving from the south to the north and east very, very slowly. Not only the tornado warning now for Berks and Lehigh's count, Lehigh counties, but we're also going to be looking at some very large hail with this. In addition, there could be some gusty winds over 60 to 65 miles per hour. So that's what we're seeing here all across the area. Berks and Lehigh counties right now. You need to be prepared. Get to your tornado shelters. We're going to stay with you until we get this warning out of the way. Again, we are prepared here myself along with meteorologist Grant Gilmore watching this, and this is all part of a line that is going to continue to form across the area. Severe thunderstorm watch until 9 p.m. This does include the Philadelphia area area as well. Much of central New Jersey, southern New Jersey, including Camden County and then back toward the west. The line is starting to form by Allentown right now. We have severe thunderstorm warnings. That tornado warning for Berks and Lehigh County just on the back end of there. Right now, the best chance of where we could possibly see that rotation would be just to the uh, north right now of 78. Let's get in there a little bit closer. Let me kind of move that map view just a little bit more now and you can see this is the best area of where we could potentially see the rotation here approaching the Greenwich 
Sandwich area, Quaker City, a lot of heavy rain and gusty winds along with some lightning there. And we're also in coordination with the National Weather Service going to be looking at the uh, uh, reports coming in. And right now we don't have any reports except what we do have here is an opportunity to get in on some rotation. I am seeing that the part of this storm right now that is the most severe is across Berks and Lehigh counties. That's right now where we have that tornado warning. That tornado warning goes right now uh, for a little bit of time. So we're going to stay with you until we get this out of the way. All right, so right now I'm going to go ahead and kind of regroup on this, let you know that we are covering this. I'm going to send it over to my friend and colleague Grant Gilmore, who's going to take a little bit more of a look at this storm and uh, give you the fresh info. Grant. Yeah, Andrew, a lot going on on the radar right now, tracking multiple threats across the Lehigh Valley. You just broke down that tornado threat, several other severe thunderstorms that are surrounding that cell that is producing that rotation. So it, it is going to be hard to tell and distinguish what is the immediate threat. And I think if you're looking through the Lehigh Valley there through Upper Berks County up into um, there into Lehigh County and, and even North Hampton County, Everywhere there, guys, I would just seek shelter, get into your safe place and just hang out for the next 30 to 45 minutes at least. Uh, these storms are moving very slowly, so that threat is going to be slow to move through. Again, there is that tornado warning that is bearing down on Greenridge right now, and it's about ready to move across the county line there over into Lehigh County. So again, that tornado warning in effect for Berks County now moving to the northeast at around 15 miles per hour. That's a very slow moving storm, so the threat for the tornado will be very slow to move through the area. I want to stop this right now, zoom in a little bit closer and give you an idea of a couple of the areas in that threat. Lynn there in the Lehigh County, their upper western Lehigh County, and then over into Albany tracking that area of that threat for a, a potential tornado on the ground. This is just a radar indicated tornado, but anytime we get a tornado warning, we have to assume that there is a tornado on the ground, zooming out several other severe thunderstorm warnings. Now remember a warning means that action needs to be taken immediately. That threat for the severe weather is ongoing and that threat is at least immediately with a tornado. The threat for damage could come from a tornado and then also we're going to continue to have a threat for not just damaging winds in excess of 60 miles per hour, but also the threat for hail half inch to an inch in diameter. Anything around an inch could cause damage. You get severe thunderstorm warnings because of those one inch diameter hailstones. But outside of that severe threat, very heavy rainfall coming down, and that is going to potentially result in the threat for some flooding around the rest of the area. Not much else going on, but this whole area of severe weather is slowly moving to the east. So we will continue to have that threat for severe weather into the Delaware Valley, into South Jersey as we make our way through the evening. Just coming in a new severe thunderstorm warning. This one is for Berks and Lehigh County right at ahead of that tornado warning. So that severe thunderstorm warning right there is for Lehigh, Monroe, Northampton and Carbon County. That one goes until 245 and then a new one just come down it came down. It's actually not showing up on our system quite yet, but it will come down in just a minute here, Andrew. So a lot going on and this whole cluster of severe weather will slowly move to the east. So the tornado threats, the most immediate concern there for Berks and Lehigh County that goes until two. Let's see, goes to 245 and then I think the whole area needs to be on guard as we go through the rest of the afternoon into the evening. Got up for this was that really warm soupy air and mm -hmm. something that we both mentioned yesterday. Sunshine, not our friend today. We saw a little bit more of that this late morning into the early afternoon and that really adds fuel to the fire, perking up these storms and that's why they're bubbling up ahead of the main line. Let me get in on another look at this. This is the cloud to ground lightning that we're seeing and there's so much of it right now across the Lehigh Valley. Again, if you're just joining us, it is now 223 and we are looking at a tornado warning for Berks and Lehigh counties. I want to get in a little bit closer right now and show you what's happening just to the north of the area. We are looking at the possibility here of a tornado and it is radar indicated right now. So what I'm going to do is zoom in a little bit more and then I want to show you the velocity part of the storm. That's going to be wind going toward the radar and away from the radar. And when we see that that's green against red, that's where we potentially would have that rotation. And right now the best area that we would see some 
some of that would be anywhere between uh, Schuylkill Haven, Hamburg, and over toward uh, just south of Lynn. Lynn right now in a severe thunderstorm warning. But right now, what we're seeing here is a little bit of green right here, right along there, 76. So we're going to be, or 78, I should say. So we're going to be concerned about this area here just to the uh, north of 76 as you make away a little bit further east. So right now, this is the main area of where we potentially could be looking at some rotation. And then also there's another area here. And unfortunately, this is kind of in between two radars that can give us the best view of velocity. But as we take a look just now to the east of Lynn and just north of 78, we potentially, this is going to be just west of 476, uh, potentially see a little bit of rotation here as well. So on the big picture, that's would be, that's would one of the areas that we'd be looking at a little bit of a notch. When you have that, that's where we would be indicating a tornado. So the real good call here is that if you're in Berks and Lehigh County right now, get to the lowest area of your home. If you don't have a basement, and of course that would be the best place to go, it would also be advisable to get to a bathroom, an interior closet, someplace that's windowless, and make sure your head is protected. Of course, when a tornado is bearing down on you, you want to make sure that you crouch down. A bathtub would be a great place to be as well. Severe thunderstorm watch for everybody until 9 p.m., but as you can tell, this is a perfect example. Just because it's a severe thunderstorm watch doesn't mean we're not going to get some tornadoes with this as well. And that's what we're seeing already today. Tornado warning again for Berks and Lehigh County till 245. It's all part of a big system that's continuing to now to push east in our direction. And that's going to give us this big line of thunderstorms already forming across the Lehigh Valley. That's going to make its way down and start back building across areas just west of Philadelphia and pushing east. That's why we're at the enhanced risk for today. The enhanced risk for severe weather does cover everybody right now underneath any of those warnings that goes all the way through tonight as we continue to watch this. So the storms already arriving now and then as we get into the six o'clock hour a little bit closer to Philadelphia six to ten Jersey Shore you'll have your chance for thunderstorms between eight and midnight. Grant, I'm going to go ahead and regroup on this computer. Going to take a look at the latest information, and uh, we're also going to take a look right now at the latest on that tornado warning. Again, Berks and Lehigh counties, get to your shelters right now. That's where we have the tornado warning until 2:45. All right, Andrew, so a couple of other things coming down while you were talking about that tornado threat. Aerial flood advisory for Berks and Carbon and Lehigh County until 530. Basically saying anywhere within this area, Berks, Carbon and Lehigh County through 530, we could see some flooding. The storms that you're showing there have, are bringing in a lot of different hazards here. There's so much instability and so much moisture in the atmosphere. So the instability is causing the lift in the atmosphere. It's producing those very strong winds. There's a little spin that's just producing that tornado threat. But then also that heavy rainfall could result in some flooding, and this is actually relatively saturated ground. We've seen several days with some scattered showers and storms. So let me get you back down here and actually the lightning threat as well. I turned on our lightning track here and you can see just a ton of lightning, a lot of lightning all within these storms, and that lightning in itself is going to pose a very real threat for danger. So I think there's really no excuse to, to go outside and try to look for it. This is incredible when you look at the number of lightning strikes within the last 10 to 15 minutes over 1500 lightning strikes just in this general area there across the Lehigh Valley from Berks County up to Lehigh and Northampton County. So I'm going to turn off the lightning because there's just too much of it. It, it muddies the water. It's going to be too hard to see all of your orange boxes there. All of those orange polygons within those cells. Those are all severe thunderstorm warnings and then our one red polygon right there and I'll stop it and I want to go all the way down to street level as much as I can without losing perspective of where we are. That is our tornado warning. All right, so the tornado warning goes for about another 20 minutes or so it goes until 245. So the threat area right now is almost immediately over Stony Run and it's tracking to the north and east right over 737 and it's heading up toward Lynn. So if you're in Lynn, if you're in Switzer, if you're in Mosserville, all of those locations or locations near there need to make sure you get into your safe place. Now this storm is tracking to the north and east at around 15 miles per hour. So I want to put on a storm track for us here and I'm not going to take it out too far because these storms are going to evolve and they're going to change very rapidly just because of the dynamic nature of our environment right now. So 233 looking at Stony Run, the storm will be near your area. Lynn around 246 
and then beyond that, beyond the extent of our tornado warning, we're looking at Lachlan at arriving around three, still likely dealing with very heavy rainfall and that threat for gusty winds, damaging winds, and maybe even a tornado. Jordan Valley around 306. Let me zoom out a little bit more here, show you the additional severe thunderstorm warnings across the area. We have several that are up into Lehigh, Northampton County. That goes until 245, then a little bit farther back into Upper Berks County. Let me turn our storm trackers back on here with our labels so you can see exactly there's our tornado warning a little bit farther back into center in Hamburg. Now there's our severe thunderstorm warning. This is for Berks and Lehigh County. That'll run until 315. This is all associated with a large cluster of thunderstorms that will continue to develop. So we will likely track, if not this area, additional areas of storms that will be developing as we head through the next several hours into the latter afternoon hours into the evening and then onward into the first half of the overnight as the cluster of storms now moves into South Jersey, probably around sunset into after after dark tonight. But but meteorologist Andrew Kozak standing by here. Andrew, we haven't got any more updates from the National Weather Service. I've been keeping an eye on that chat that we have directly with them. Yeah. At, at the end of the day, this is just a dangerous situation over the Lehigh Valley from the tornado threat, the damaging wind threat, and then the, the increase incredible amount of lightning it is is concerning with this and you know grant we saw the setup for this right i mean mm -hmm. it's been so humid a lot of people commenting how soupy it's been the last uh, day or so and that's really what's led to this too you have a dynamic system making its way closer to us meeting up with this air and then you add a little bit of sunshine this morning and that's why everything's kind of popping up again if you're joining us from philadelphia we're going to keep our eye on you because these storms are back building a little further south a little further north just north and west of trenton that's where we have some thunderstorms now mainly non-severe but again, we are focusing on that tornado warning right now. That is the most immediate threat for weather for Berks and Lehigh County. So let me get in a little bit closer now. There's Lehigh right now. There's a lot of lightning. And by the way, one of the other things that's a little dangerous with this is there's so much cloud to ground lightning here. Every single one of these little barbs is in real time. There's a lot of rain as well, so a tornado, if it does form, does get rain wrapped. It also continues to be uh, hard to see, especially when you start seeing all of these areas of very heavy rain and thunderstorms moving in. There is Lynn right now. I want to zoom in a little bit closer to where the potential for a tornado would be. And as Grant showed you just a couple of minutes ago, from Lynn to Mosserville and Jordan Valley, this is the most intense thunderstorm that we're seeing right now. And it is the one that is the most capable of producing a tornado. There is some good news with this right now. And that is, and this is really for any time that we're in a tornado warning, we're now several minutes in. We haven't had any confirmations just looking at this from the radar. But then you put the lightning back on. There's a lot of here to a lot of this to cover. So we're going to continue to watch this. We're also going to continue to watch the velocity. This is the movement of the storm radar located to the south and the east. So the green represents particles, wind, rain that's hitting the radar, moving toward it. Red is away. When you have toward and away up against each other, that's where you would potentially have some rotation. And right now, the best area would be just around Greenwich, Lynn. And see that? See that little red and green area here? And Grant, we can definitely keep an eye on this as we move in a little bit closer. Quaker City to Albany. And I know you mentioned Stony Run before. This would be the area right now that if you are in, you need to get to your shelters because at least indicate from our end, there's plenty of people I'm sure on the ground that may visually confirm this, but if there is a tornado with this, if there is a funnel cloud with this, of course, that's that rotating air that hasn't actually touched the ground yet, thus becoming a tornado, this would be the area from Lynn over toward Albany, Quaker City, and Stony Run. Now is the time to get to your shelters. This is going to be moving to the north and the northeast pretty slowly at about 10 to 15 miles per hour, at least right here, you do need to make sure that you are away from windows in your basement. If you don't have a basement, lowest floor of your house, away from everything, get your family, bring the dog in as well, and make sure you crouch down and protect your head. That's where the most injuries that's happened from these things is to your head. But again, green, red, up against each other. This is movement toward and away. And Grant, I think when you put this on the top of your radar uh, that shows just the regular radar, not the velocities, this is going to be the most likely area where we would have rotation if this storm is actually dropping a tornado. The, the rotation is not a dead ringer to, to suggest that there's a tornado on the ground, but mm -hmm. sometimes as you start moving up to elevation, that, that radar beam also it gets higher and higher up into the atmosphere as it moves away from the radar site. It's not always a clear indication, even though there may actually be a tornado on the ground. So we got to treat this as if there's a tornado on the ground. Yeah. And if you're in this warning area, get to that safe place and, and stay there until we give you the all clear, which we will do with every single one of these storms as they move through. A, a new 
alert just coming down from the National Weather Service. This is trailing in behind the storms that have been moving through the severe, the damaging winds, the hail and that tornado threat, but now also a flooding threat here across Berks County, Upper Berks County into northwestern Lehigh County, a flash flood warning in effect. So this flash flood warning just because of all that really heavy rainfall right here in this area, that darker red just to the northwest of Greenwich, but Hamburg and then just to the southwest of Lynn there. This is where we've seen an inch and a half to two and a half inches of rainfall within a very short period of time, and that is now resulting in the concern for flooding. If it isn't happening now, some places could see it here relatively soon just because of the continuation of the heavy rainfall that's moving through. This is also the same area that has an ongoing severe thunderstorm warning. Burks, Lehigh County. This severe thunderstorm warning is in effect until 315 due to the threat of 60 mile per hour winds. That's winds that could cause damage to not just trees, but also to your home. If you have those winds picking up, it could pick something up that was out in your yard and it could throw it up against your house. It could break a window, which is why we say get away from those windows. Get into that innermost room of your home and again, stay there until the all clear is sounded or until you can just tell by the sound because these storms are very loud with all that lightning that that threat is going to be clearing out farther to the north and west. We've got additional severe thunderstorm warnings and, and I might have to check here. Let me just come over here real quick and, and have a look. It looks like that tornado warning has been canceled. So sort of what we were looking at there, we were looking at how the, the rotation within that storm just was not as impressive as it initially was for Burks and Lehigh. So tornado warning has been canceled. The threat for a tornado has gone away now, but an ongoing threat for severe weather, damaging winds, hail, frequent lightning and very heavy rainfall continues across the Lehigh Valley. In fact, an additional severe thunderstorm warning just coming down for Monroe and Northampton County until 315. Andrew, I'll send things back over to you. I'll continue to monitor some of the updates that we're getting in. Yeah, so I mean, this is good news, Grant, because we're still seeing, of course, severe weather, but at least the tornado threat is over for now. So we're going to send you back to regular programming in just a second. I just want to once again point out that we have frequent lightning, thunder, heavy rain, gusty winds. We're looking at the velocity for potential rotation here and a severe thunderstorm watch until 9 p.m. Again, no matter where you're watching from, the Jersey Shore, Philadelphia, and up toward the Lehigh Valley and the Poconos, we have you covered. We'll have frequent updates and Grant will be back at 3 o'clock with a fresh update at the top of the hour. Stay with us. Good afternoon to you. I'm CBS News Philadelphia meteorologist Grant Gilmore. Just a quick update on the severe weather that we're continuing to track, mainly through the Lehigh Valley. We just had a tornado warning that was canceled up into Berks and Lehigh County, but still some ongoing severe thunderstorm warnings. Just want to tell you about a few of them right now. One severe thunderstorm warning in Berks and Lehigh County. This goes until 315. Now the storm is producing 60 mile per hour winds, some pretty large hail in addition to the very heavy rainfall. In fact, this darker red polygon right here is a flash flood warning. A lot of rain has fallen in a very short period of time, so we have to watch out for the possibility of some flooding in Upper Berks County into extreme northwestern upper Lehigh County. In addition to another cluster of severe thunderstorms that are moving through Monroe and Northampton County, a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings. This one specifically right here goes until 315. The second one that's tracking towards upper Mount Bethel, that severe thunderstorm warning will go until 345. All of these storms producing the threat for damaging winds, some hail and excessive lightning, a lot of thunder and lightning in addition to some very heavy rainfall. So everybody runs the risk of dealing with some flash flooding as well. Most of the area has a severe thunderstorm watch that will go until nine o'clock this evening. In addition to a flood watch for most of eastern Pennsylvania into portions of central Jersey, including Mercer County. That goes until midnight. We'll continue to track these storms as we go through the rest of the afternoon into the evening. If we need to cut in with any more information, we will. Otherwise, you can go over to our website, cbsphiladelphia.com, for any live updates. And then we'll join you back here at 4 o'clock for CBS News Philadelphia at 4. Stay safe, and until then, we'll keep an eye on those storms for you. All right, good afternoon once again. CBS News Philadelphia meteorologist Grant Gilmore just jumping in. We got new information and, and an ongoing threat for a, a tornado warning 
for Northampton County. This tornado warning is going to go until 330 and is tracking to the northeast around 25 miles per hour. Really within just the last 15 minutes, the storm has really started to strengthen and it's moving to the northeast here, producing that threat for a tornado. So again, this is for Northampton County right now. Let me bring over my computer so we can all track this together. Looking at this storm now, just looking at the lightning alone. Anytime that you see lightning really begin to flare up within a storm, be that possibility that it could begin to rotate if we're finding some rotation here. So Northampton County until 3:30 and and that threat is going to continue from Harmony all the way up to Mount Bethel. We were just talking about this threat here just moments ago when we cut into the programming here. So Upper Bethel, Mononka, uh, Chunk, all of these areas need to make sure that you're in your safe place right now as this tornado threat continues up to the north and east. Let me put a track on this storm here so we have an idea of where the storm could be within the next 30 to 45 minutes. Again, this tornado warning runs until 3:30 this afternoon. It tracks up to the north and east, and we'll likely see it arriving in the Mount Bethel area around 3:21, the Portland area around 3:24, and Polkville at 328. Let me try to get a better perspective here with this system because we're looking at it all moving quickly to the north and east and we'll likely continue to see more of these ongoing severe thunderstorms over portions of upper uh, Lehigh County and then farther up into Monroe County. Meteorologist Andrew Kozak is standing by now looking at these storms. Andrew, I'm going to just real quick before I toss over to you, I want to turn on our velocity mode. That velocity mode is what we use to to track that that rotation in the atmosphere. And there looks to be a very clear symbol here. Let me just show you this. So the red is is winds moving away and the green is moving towards so we clearly have what we call a couplet here so there's there's a good possibility that we we could have a tornado on the ground even though we haven't gotten a confirmed report at this point yeah uh, and you know when you kind of put that radar on top of the velocity and you mm -hmm. kind of look and see where both line up that's exactly what we're seeing so again this is going to be upper mount bethel uh lower mount bethel right there crossing over uh, i believe highway 80 this is just to the west of hope right now and uh, what we're seeing here is this moving just about 10 miles north northeast of Easton and this whole system, this whole area right now moving northeast at about 25 miles per hour. Let me bring you up to the current time right now. Get in a little bit closer just so you can see these areas because there are some areas that uh, are going to be in here when you move in some of these smaller townships and areas. Uh, this is going to be near white. This is Highway 46 right now moving right now northeast at about 20 to 25 miles per hour. Let me expand that view out. Put this in perspective here right now. We have a brand new tornado warning. This is for Northampton County. As this continues to move to the north here, we are looking at the not just the chance for a tornado, but also some very gusty winds and also these storms have a history of producing hail. In some cases, hail to the size of quarters or bigger. That would be one inch in diameter. That was what we would consider uh, severe hail. Uh, we are also in coordination with the National Weather Service right now. We are looking at any possibility for storm spotters on the ground. We are seeing anything just yet, but indicated by radar. That's exactly what we're seeing. Again, Grant showed you the velocity on this. As I go ahead and kind of put that back into perspective for us, we're still seeing a uh, good opportunity for us to get in on right now the potential for a tornado. Now I have the other velocity mode on here and let me put the uh, the drawing on this for you so you can kind of see here. See, this is the uh, wind going toward the radar. That's the green. And then the ra away from the radar is the red. So let me get back in there one more time just to kind of show you this and uh, get in a little bit closer because what they're seeing, what we're seeing here is the opportunity to potentially have some uh, rotation and that's going to give us that opportunity for a tornado warning uh, in Northampton County. That's why we have that across the area. So uh, at this point right now, if you are in the area, you need to get to your storm shelters immediately, especially if you're in Northampton County, anywhere near uh, those areas that we just showed you, including just northeast of East. And this is moving again north at 25 northeast at 25 miles per hour. Uh, this is the bigger picture now. And let me put that into mode for you, play mode for you. All of this is moving pretty quickly to the north at about 20 to 25. But again, Northampton County, get to your shelters immediately. Tornado warning for you. That goes until 330. Uh, I know, Grant, you are looking at the velocity portion of this as well. I'm also going to be checking our National Weather Service chat. I don't see anything up here right now for any spotters, but this brand new warning does uh, go until 3.30. So we're going to continue to watch this for you and, of course, stay with you until this is canceled or is allowed to expire.
Right, Andrew, so a lot of different tools that we use to, to analyze, analyze these storms so we can get you the most up to date and accurate information here. And this is what you typically look at when you look at a radar. This is indicating how intense the rainfall is, but but sometimes you can even see how the winds might be spinning by looking at this, what we call the reflectivity. It's reflecting the rain back to the radar site. And if you look at this little notch right here, that little notch right here, and then that larger, almost like comma shape, that really tells you that we do have that rotation rotation within this cell that could potentially be producing a tornado on the ground and maybe just a funnel cloud. It's not a tornado technically until that funnel cloud reaches all the way down to the surface and begins to actually touch down, hence the, the term a, a tornado touchdown. But but I do want to say upper Mount Bethel, upper Mount Bethel you need to get to your safe place. Now I'm sure it's raining very hard there. If you turn up the sound on the TV, get to your safe place so you can still hear us talking that way. You're safe, but you can still get that information. And we are seeing a lot of lightning within these storms as well. So the power may go out. Remember, you can always stream us on the CBS Philadelphia app. That way you can get information on your phone or your tablet, even if the electricity to your television does go out. But I think there's an ongoing possibility of a of a tornado within this storm tracking to the northeast. This is in Northampton County. It'll start moving out of the CBS Philadelphia area, but that's all the way up into Warren County. Still, though, let people know that this threat is with us as it tracks to the north and east. Let me put a track on this here again. It's moving to the northeast at 25 miles per hour. So as we time this out and we move it up to the north and east, we're looking at it arriving there in Knolltown by around 324. So Knolltown and then Ramseyburg there around 315. So the tornado warning itself goes until 330. So those are a couple of areas that could see that threat arrive within the next 15 to 20 minutes. In addition to this tornado warning, we're going to keep the arrow right on the tornado warning, but all those other polygons, all those other boxes of orange, those are all severe thunderstorm warnings. I will loop it now. I'm looping it just over the last 30 minutes and you see how there's even more developing. So we're probably going to see even more severe thunderstorm warnings for portions of Berks County into Lehigh County on top of all the other severe thunderstorm warnings that are currently in fact every single one of these storms that develop today. Every single one of them will have the potential to produce damage from damaging winds to large hail. Heavy rainfall is another threat for the potential for flooding and in addition to the frequent lightning. I've turned off the lightning, but I'm going to turn it on for you because it's a dangerous lightning threat here. So I've just turned it on and we're turning it off because it really does get in the way of tracking that severe tornado threat, but you can still see a lot of lightning within these storms. So obviously just another reason to get inside and get into that safe place. So let me turn off the lightning. Let me zoom down to the area there of our tornado warning. I will stop it so we can get a better fix on exactly where that threat is. Let me go over to that velocity mode because that velocity mode is tracking the speed and the direction of the winds. How quickly are the winds blowing the raindrops within this storm? So as we switch over, we're looking here and, and you, what Andrew was talking about here, this area right here, the difference in the color, the reds and the greens and how close they come together is an indication of how those raindrops or the wind speeds are going in opposite directions in a relatively close area. So right there, let's see, that's that's right over white and tracking just southeast of upper Mount Bethel, moving toward Knolltown. Let's go down even closer here. So that's right there to your white and uh, Mononka Chunk, just south of that is, is Hazen. So Hazen, I, I, the, the little couplet that we're finding here is just to the north of you, but still everybody in this area needs to make sure that you're in that safe place as the storm continues to track to the north and to the east. Again, this is all for the tornado warning, all right? So if you're watching in the Philadelphia area, you're saying, well, this is well off to the west, not a concern for us. Let me tell you, this storm threat will continue to move to the east as we head through the next several hours. So we were just looking at the latest forecast models. It looks like this is the Lehigh Valley, all right? So this is going to be the threat area through around probably five or six. These storms will continue to move to the south and east and will be in that threat for severe thunderstorms, maybe some tornadoes and the possibility of some heavy rain and some flooding. 
It'll then move down the shore into South Jersey as we head through the second half of the evening into the first half of the overnight. So I just want to make sure that everybody has a good understanding of the fact that it's not, even though it may not be in your area right now, we'll likely see it move across the entire area as we head through the next several hours. So just one last check here on our tornado warning here. Tornado warning continues. Severe thunderstorm warnings are all continuing, but that tornado warning continues until 3.30 this afternoon for Northampton County. Uh, Andrew, I know you're standing by here with a couple other checks on things here. We also have that severe thunderstorm watch, Andrew, in effect for, yeah. for much of the area throughout the evening. Yeah, Grant, that goes until 9 yep. p.m. right now. That does include the Philadelphia Metro. And again, if you're watching from Philadelphia, these storms are building from north to south. All that really soupy air that we've had in place, it feels muggy, it feels sticky, it feels uncomfortable. All of that is fuel for these thunderstorms that are moving in. So let me get in and one, one more time and kind of take a look at this because this warning does go until 3.30. We have 17 minutes to go. I have some tools on here. Let me get in a little bit closer first and show you. This is the thunderstorm that is producing the potential tornado. Again, that's just north of white right now, kind of drawing the arrows in. That notch, that's dry air being kind of drawn into the thunderstorm, and all of this is kind of wrapping around. And when you have that rotation, you can clearly see that on the screen. That's radar indication that we're seeing the potential for a tornado rare right across Highway 46. And that's just going to be about five to six miles north of white. All right, so let's go clear that off there. I want to show you a couple of other tools that we have here to kind of show you uh, what we're seeing. And that's going to first be the uh, slicing tool. And now what this does is show us the higher uh, tops of this entire storm. And when you kind of slice through, when we're trying to find basically where we could potentially see a tornado, we're seeing this upwards of over 25 to 30,000 feet. And when you have that kind of slicing through these storms in 3D, you're really seeing the potential here for where that tornado would uh, potentially be. Again, that is going to be for Northampton County. If you are in Northampton County right now, especially just about five miles north of white, you need to get to your storm shelters uh, immediately. There's the velocity again. Let's do a quick check on that as the storm continues to scan. And yeah, as Grant was showing you, if there is a tornado on the ground, it's going to be just north of white right there and moving. In fact, we can actually even put the movement on the velocity so you can kind of see where that is moving just northwest and eventually just north of white. That's going to be there uh, by Manuka Chunk and just north of 46 or Long Highway 46 right now. So if this is where you are located, you need to be in your storm shelters. Lowest portion of your house. The basement is ideal. If you don't have a basement, go to a first floor bathroom or an interior closet, preferably a place with no windows. You want to get down. You want to protect your head and make sure that you stay in there until the warning is over. Heads up, Polkville, if this continues to move in the direction that you're going, we could potentially be looking at what could be a tornado in your area within the next five to 10 minutes. An update now uh, showing that we still have a capable a thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado near Columbia or 16 miles northeast of Easton. So that's going to be in this area right here again. So we're going to continue to watch this. Grant, this is probably the most pronounced rotation that we've seen. And the last couple of frames, it actually looks a little bit more pronounced. So we're going to keep our eye on this as it continues to move north. Again, Northampton yep. County until 330. Grant, we're going to stay on until either the tornado warning is expired canceled or moves out of the area. Yeah, Andrew, you're right. I mean, the, the storm is it looks like it's starting to wrap itself back up again. And sometimes these systems do that. These these cells will, will sort of relax and it's almost like it's breathing a little bit. It's not technically the case, but it does appear that they'll begin to relax and then they'll tighten back up again. And, and we're starting to see a, that comma shake redevelop within this cell as it's moving just south of Mount Bethel. So you have that little notch, that dry air that's being sucked up into that rotating supercell as it travels up to the north and east. So radar indicated tornado warning right now. This is a tornado warning for Northampton County. So Northampton County, the tornado warning is going to stay in effect until 3:30 unless we see any sort of indication that this storm is weakening. The threat is decreasing, but right now, if anything, it's increasing because we're seeing it wrap itself back up again. The Northampton County tracking to the north and east at 25 miles per hour. In addition to the threat for a tornado, obviously the very heavy rainfall, frequent lightning, a ton of lightning within the storm right now. I'll show it to you, but I'm going to take it right back off because there is a lot of lightning and it's right there near where we're seeing that rotation. It's right there in that little notch of that tornado or that tornado threat right now. So that's an indication that the storm is still strong. It's still healthy and it could potentially, even if it's not producing a tornado, it's still 
could produce damage. 60 mile per hour winds. I'm finding some hail samples within this within this storm up there around a half of an inch. So I'll put on the hail tracker here. That hail tracker that's just showing you the track of the hail here within the last hour. And so we, we look at this and that line there is indicating where the radar is seeing those hailstones falling. So half inch diameter hail in addition to those 60 mile per hour winds associated with that tornadic or at least potential tornadic storm that's moving to the north and east right now. So let me pause this and let's get a closer look. So we're still looking at what we call the reflectivity. So right along there, this is the county line there between Northampton County and Warren County. So Knolltown storm heading right in your direction. Get to your safe place. That's the best place to be that innermost room. Usually it's a powder room or a bathroom. Put as many walls between the outside threat and those hazards and yourself. Get your kids, get the dog, bring everybody into that bathroom. It won't last for hours. This is just a matter of 30 to 45 minutes until the storm clears out and then we can reevaluate the situation. Even Portland, all right, right there on the county line, Portland, get to your safe place. You're within that threat. We're seeing that rotation right there, but that tornado could be here. It could be to the north and Regardless, a lot of lot of gusty winds within this and even even upper Mount Bethel. We, we've sort of looked at you for the last 15 minutes or so. Storm is moving to the north and east, but there are still more storms following behind it. So we'll continue to track this right now. Andrew, we're, we're starting to get some reports of some trees down in some other places around the area with more of these storms, and that's kind of yeah. been the theme. I think any storm that pops up, any dark cloud that you see coming, will have the potential to be severe and produce some damage. Yeah, so that's what we're seeing there. I do think for the most part, if you're still in Northampton County, but on the West End, you know, don't, don't, stay hold your ground because until we can actually get this warning over with we are going to continue to track this for you speaking of tracking right now i have some fresh updates as this continues to make its way to the northeast at about 25 miles per hour i put a fresh track on here for you it's going to take this storm or at least the center of rotation at 327 toward knowlton 346 blairstown franklin grove around 359 again that's if this holds together the warning does go until 330 but it does still looks like it's strengthening out there so let me go ahead and clear this out let's go back to the track on this and what I'm going to do first is uh, slice through it because we have had we'll say 20 to 25,000 feet up in the air these clouds even up to 30,000 feet when you have the re uh, reflectivity up that high that shows that this storm is dynamic from the surface all the way up and that's why this is a very good indicator that we are looking at the potential here for a tornado let's get in a little bit closer right now I know that uh, uh, Grant mentioned hail hail is also something that we potentially could see here as well uh, we have had uh, some of that as well this morning uh, into this afternoon. Let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. The hail right now, I would say anywhere between maybe a half inch to up to an inch. This is right now about a seven tenths of an inch, uh, six tenths. Yeah. So we maybe have some marble to dime size hail, uh, potentially up to a quarter sized hail, which would be about an inch in diameter. This storm is moving to the northeast at about 25 miles per hour. Center of rotation there just south of Knowlton right now that is moving in your direction. If you are in the Knowlton area or anywhere east, especially along 80, this would be the time now to get to your storm shelters. I want to go ahead and just kind of re uh, surface the map just a little bit and bring you up to the current time there. Uh, and that's where it is going to be. So Knowlton, Blairstown, you are in the path of what potentially could be uh, a tornado. And once again, as you take a look at this, we're really seeing uh, this area impacted by uh, what is going to continue to be a very strong thunderstorm. As far as the National Weather Service is concerned, we're in constant contact with them. We are not seeing any uh, tornado reports out of this particular storm yet, but however, we are watching that very carefully for you. So there's the view on this. We are continuing to watch the the bigger view on this not really affecting Philadelphia right now, but these storms are building back to the south and that's going to fill in and create a line as we head into the afternoon and evening hours. So this is what we're watching again. Once we continue to get past this storm, which is right now producing potentially a tornado just south of Knowlton, moving northeast at 25 miles per hour, we have other severe thunderstorm warnings in the area, uh, including 
Northampton County, the rest of it, especially the western port portion until 345. Again, about seven and a half minutes to go for the tornado warning Northampton County. Grant, I'm going to send it back over to you at the wall. I'm going to regroup the map here, and we're also going to take a look at some of those rainfall rates. By the way, rainfall rates in the most severe part of this storm have been between two and a half and three inches per hour. So even if the storm's only on top of you for about 25, 30 minutes, we're looking at a quick inch, inch and a half flash flooding. Grant is going to be another issue that we uh, get into as we head into the evening. Yeah, so so this cluster of storms is is the immediate threat across the area. Multiple severe thunderstorm warnings. We actually have an additional tornado warning that's moving a little bit farther north of the Philadelphia area, but there are a few more very discrete cells that are beginning to develop across South Jersey. These are not severe yet. There's a lot of instability and a lot of moisture across South Jersey right now. So as these storms track to the north, they're already beginning to blossom and produce some heavy rainfall and even some small hail. So they may not look like much on the radar right now. I do intense anticipate that we start to see uh, some more scattering of not just thunderstorms, but the potential for some severe thunderstorms as we head through the second half of our afternoon into the evening. Now this immediate cluster of storms that's up to the north and east. Obviously, the reason that we're here with you right now is because of this ongoing threat of a potential tornado. I know there's a ton on the radar right now. It's hard to break through everything that's going on. You've got all those dark reds and those almost maroon colors because of the intense rainfall, but try to focus your attention on this polygon right here. That is your tornado warning. That is the immediate threat for the most potential for some damage in addition to all those other orange polygons that have the threat for also 60 mile per hour winds and some half inch to one inch diameter hail. But this ongoing tornado warnings is just starting to move across Northampton County into Warren County. So it's starting to move across the county line and it's just to the east of Bethel. It's just to the west of Hope. So Hope, it may not even be raining where you are right now, but just about five miles to the west. It's torrential rain. It's a little bit of hail and quite a bit of lightning and damaging winds, or at least the potential for some damaging winds. Now you can still see a little of that notch that we've been talking about that notch that's indicating that inflow that's going into the storm right now. It's a crude drawing, I know, but it still drives home the point. That wind is going in. You have the circulation and that comma shape right there, and that's where we have that threat right there near Knowlton. And again, tracking to the north and east at around 25 miles per hour. I do want to show some of the other severe thunderstorm warnings. I'll keep the, the arrow pointed toward the tornado warning just so you keep your bearings on, on where we are on the map here. Back to the west, we've got that severe thunderstorm warning. That includes Berks County as well. And then even farther to the south and west there for Berks County, rather uh, Lehigh County and Berks County. This is a flash flood warning. You already had one area of thunderstorms move through about an hour ago. Another area of rain moving through. This is really heavy rainfall, so the threat for some flooding is going to continue as we head through the next several hours. Again, we have that ongoing severe thunderstorm warning and that ongoing tornado warning now up into Monroe County. Lehigh County and then Northampton County with that tornado threat moving into Warren County right now. Just a quick update to show it's not just the Lehigh Valley. It's the entire region, excluding portions of Atlantic, Cape May and uh, Cumberland County right now. This is all a severe thunderstorm watch. So even though we're talking about tornadoes right now, the primary threat, most of the storms that we see today will produce a severe thunderstorm threat, that being damaging winds in excess of 60 miles per hour or the potential for one inch diameter hail. So I think we see more of this as we go through the afternoon as these storms continue to develop and slowly advance to the east. And because they are moving so slowly, there is that additional flood threat for a lot of these storms. We'll have multiple storms move over the same area over the period of the rest of this afternoon and this evening. So a flood watch, there's Philly. Most of the flood watch is for eastern Pennsylvania, across the Philadelphia area, Delaware Valley, all the way up into the Lehigh Valley. It does include portions of Mercer County. In fact, all of Mercer County, Trenton. So you're not excluded from this as these storms continue to move through. We'll see the ongoing threat for that potential for some flooding in addition to the severe weather. So that flooding threat sort of lags behind the initial threat of the, the damaging winds and the hail and then that 
that associated tornado threat right now. Let me take you down real quick, just show you the latest loop here. We're actually seeing it to me at, at first glance. It looks like the rotation within this storm is beginning to dissipate a little bit. It's still there. We're still seeing a little bit of rotation in this area right here. So that's just to the the north of Liberty. So this is in Warren County right now. So it's moving to the east and northeast around 25 miles per hour. They still have the tornado warning in effect for Northampton County. So we'll keep an eye on this. We're going to stay with you as long as the threat is here. Uh, but for now, Andrew, it looks like again, it, it tightened up. We started to see a little bit of that tightening in the rotation. It looks like it's beginning to relax a little bit once yeah. again. But this is just one of many potential severe storms across the region right now. Now we are also seeing the bottom end of the line starting to fill up a little bit with some showers and that could be towering cumulonimbus clouds to see when you look outside south of Philadelphia across areas of Delaware and then they'll start to blow up into thunderstorms. And that's what we're seeing here. Let me move in just a little bit quicker, or a little bit closer, I should say, just south of Philadelphia. Again, if you're in the uh, Philadelphia area and you're looking to the south, you're seeing mainly southwest, some showers starting to develop. Now, we're gonna have to watch and see if these develop into severe, but that's sort of the potential. And look at that, there is a new severe thunderstorm. You saw that pop up right there. Let's cue that out for you. This is going to be in New Jersey right now. This severe thunderstorm warning now goes for Camden County. Uh, right now until four o'clock. This is going to be for Burlington and Camden County until four o'clock. So that thunderstorm there, let me go in just because it popped up literally right as we went in there and uh, show you what's happening. So let's get in a little bit closer now, and this is going to be approaching the um, Evesham area and also toward Mount Holly, Morristown, and I'll put this up to the current speed here. Let's put a little track on it for you as well, because uh, as we do that, we can actually give the center of where the worst part of the storm is and move it to the north. Uh, that's going to put it at about 346 in Evesham, Mount Laurel around 402, and Haynesport at around 418. Again, that severe thunderstorm warning now, it's just a severe thunderstorm warning, but it is there for Camden County and Burlington County. And what that tells me is that as we continue to uh, let me go back a little bit further and zoom back out uh, as we continue to take a look at these storms, we're going to actually see these now start to develop on the southern end. So that Camden Burlington County storm is the so far most southern storm that we've seen pop up for today. So if you're in the Philadelphia area and especially across South Jersey, now we're going to start to see these storms pop up as we move a little closer to four o'clock, five o'clock and beyond. Again, that tornado warning now is going to be allowed to be expired for Northampton County. So that's the good news there. We're going to see that standing down now. It is 3.30. Uh, and we are going to uh, actually continue to monitor this. And then Grant, we're going to start things up at four o'clock. We're going to have expanded team coverage four o'clock as we begin our newscast from four, five and six as we cover these storms. But the good news, the tornado warning is going to be allowed to be expiring now uh, and just did expire just a few seconds ago for Northampton County. Ongoing threat with severe thunderstorms across the region. Severe thunderstorm watch in effect until nine o'clock this evening. We'll keep you posted right here and online on CBSPhiladelphia.com. If we don't need to cut in before now. We'll see you at four o'clock for more updates with this ongoing severe threat as we go into the evening. Stay safe.